Good afternoon, my scholars. Welcome to our lesson for today. History of indentured servitude in the English colonies. Terrific subject, so get excited. Okay, when people were sentenced for a crime they had committed in the colonies, these people were often shipped over to the New World as indentured servants. This was the first form of servants. Richard Hofstadter describes what life was like for the indentured servants. They came over from Europe to settle in the New World, and in order to obtain their freedom, they had to work for the master indentured servant who worked the land, usually in agriculture for most of the time. Usually indentured servants worked for five to seven years. However, this was all determined and laid out by their master. Once they had worked for the period of time that the master won, they received their freedom. This tradition went on throughout the 17th century. However, by the 18th century, indentured servitude, which was predominantly whites, had changed over and merged with the institution of slavery. Slavery, to a large extent, took over where indentured servitude left off. Slavery, usually and unlike indentured servitude, ended up being for life. It was extremely hard for people to obtain their freedom. At last, however, in, during the 1800s, well after America had gained its independence, slaves were given 3.5 of a person the right to vote. Slaves, as well as indentured servitude, were considered the property of the master and therefore had to obey the master in all ways. If they did not obey the master, harsh penalties were imposed on the indentured servant. From his work, that means the indentured servant's work, he was given a home, food, shelter. Now, in the English colonies, indentured servitude became even stricter. When an indentured servant left a master's land, he had to have a pass signed by the master specifying where the servant could go and when he had to be back. It is extremely important to see the relative significance of slaves, indentured servitude, slaveholders in England and the New World, since this ultimately did determine the many important steps which led to the eventual freedom of the English colonies. It is also important to know that slaves were treated very unfairly. They were given few rights. This all added up and played a major preponderant role on early America. And that concludes our lesson today on the history of indentured servitude in the English colonies.